One more time. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Fantastic. Good morning. Thank you very much for coming down uh, to Traders Fair. Uh, I'm the first speaker for today, so that's why you know the crowd is coming in. But anyways, we have a few people in here. So uh, what we're going to do is this. I'm going to share with you all some really, really good um, stock ideas and everything. But before I get started, uh, guys, for those who are sitting down here, can I just get a show of hands? How many of you all are actually uh, traders or investors in this room? Can you raise your hands? How many of you all haven't started? You all are brand new, one. Huh? Anybody brand new? Bro, then where are you? You, know, you raise your hands for? Okay, you trade. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. All right, so let me just introduce myself. I actually come from my slides, guys. Yo, <laughs> my slides. Right, I'm actually from uh, Buffer Online School, right? So, hey. <laughs> Okay, so I'm from Buffett Online School. So very, very simply, what we actually teach is investing. Right? So we teach investing, and for those of you all who are investors, I'm going to actually be sharing with you all. Today, my topic is going to be this. I'm going to be sharing with you all my top five, right? My top five uh, growth opportunities you all can actually look out for in 2019, okay? So, uh, raise if you all came here because you all want some very, very good lobang or kantawan, raise hands. Right? Okay, fantastic. I promise you, uh, today confirm plus chop. I'll give you some really, really good lobang kantau. But make sure you all take action. Can not, guys? Can uh? Okay, so again, Buffer Online School, I'm just going to share with you all a little bit of my story. I don't have a lot of time, so let me just share a bit of background of where I come from. Right? So uh, my story is this. I come from this city called... Called where? Yeah, I come from Singapore. So I actually flew down to actually be here at Traders Fair today. Uh, I come from Singapore. And I started my, uh, I started my investing journey. Uh, I started my investing journey when I was very young. Actually, I started my investing journey when I was 18 years old, right? And at 18 years old, I was actually in uh, the military service. So most of you all will know that in, at 18 years old in Singapore, all of us served the army, right? So I was actually serving the army. So uh, this was me in the army. A little bit scary photo, huh? But anyways, right, in the army, you get your head shaven, uh, shaved ball. I know I look a lot better now. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I started my journey then. But there was one big issue, right? In the army, what happens is this. Um, you know, in the army, obviously, you don't have a lot of money, right? So some of us, I know that some of us face this issue as well. You want to trade, you want to invest, for example, but, you know, where do I have the funds, right? How do I actually start? So one of the very good places where I started was actually in the stock market, right? Why? Because the stock market required, it, required a lot lesser capital, right? Lesser capital, and I could start with a few hundred dollars as well, right? So that's exactly how I started, and slowly but surely, I started growing my income, Right, throughout my entire national service. And let me share with you all what happened as a result, right? So investing really, really truly changed my life. And I start so now it's been about more than 10 years that I've been actually investing. Right? But I, I learned one thing. How do you actually learn investing? How do you learn trading? You must learn from somebody who has achieved success. And I wanted to go and learn from the best of the best people. Right? And the one of the best investors out there uh, is this person. Do you all know this guy? What's his name, guys? Okay, so most of you all know his name, right? His name is actually Warren Buffett. And as you all know, uh, Warren Buffett is one of the richest investors in the world. Right? One of the richest investors in the world. So uh, I couldn't learn from Warren Buffett. Why? Because if you want to go down and sit down with him for one day, uh, not for one day, for one lunch, right? Warren Buffett, sit down and learn from Warren Buffett, it will cost you nearly 3 million US dollars. Right? No joke, uh, 3 million US dollars. But the reason why people do it is because they know that if they get this one connection, it can lead them to making 10 times the amount. So people don't mind doing that. Right? But for me, I went to go and learn from the second best person. And the second best person was this lady called uh, Mary Buffett. Right? Mary Buffett is actually uh, Warren Buffett's daughter-in-law. Right? And I went to go and learn from her directly. She's the one person in the family who works directly with Warren Buffett himself. Right? Teaches, learns, build the business together with him. And I went to had the privilege to go and learn directly from the family. And as you all know, uh, their mindset is not a millionaire mindset. No. Their mindset is a billionaire mindset, right? Billionaire mindset, very, very different. So I wanted to go and learn from the family directly, and I did, right? And let me share with you what happened as a result. Huh? So uh, I had the privilege personally myself to go and learn directly, right? She was my mentor for the last uh, two years or so. So I learned everything. She unlocked all the secrets. Can I ask you all a question, guys? Do you all think the Buffets invest like normal people? Yes or no? Definitely not. The way they invest, the way they do business, everything is very, very different. So I had the privilege of, over the last two years, uh, learning directly from her. She taught me everything, everything she knew, exactly how, she, how he invests, exactly what they're investing in and why. You know, and uh, that has been the biggest thing ever. After I got mentorship from her, 
right? My results literally 10x, you know, guys. Like my investment portfolio. And she started introducing me to people as well. Let me just share with you all. Huh? She introduced me to people like, uh, so with Mary Buffett, I actually, she introduced me to her friends, people like Robert Kiyosaki, right? You all know Robert Kiyosaki? Raise your hands if you all know Robert Kiyosaki. Okay, so you wrote this book called The Rich Dad, Poor Dad, right? So uh, with her, you know, I did tours all over the world in Japan, in UK, in Malaysia as well, all right? And because of that, just uh, two weeks ago, I got, I got appointed to actually become her director in Buffett Online School, right? So uh, we just, just, just had an official launch in Malaysia, uh, which, was hap which happened when, uh, bro? You were there, right? Which happened uh, two days ago, right? Just two days ago. And I was there actually doing the official launch of Buffett Online School. And yes, we just opened up and launched in Malaysia. So I'm the director of the company, all right? So anyways, uh, today my topic is going to be this, the top growth sectors to invest in over the next five years. Okay, so right now, you want to take out your handphones, you want to take out your notebook to take down notes, okay? Because this is where the lobangs and the kantau start, all right? Uh, for those of you all who are behind, please come, come, for, come, come in front, right? Uh, for some of the stuff I want to share, please come in front, right? Don't, don't feel shy, stand all the way behind. Okay, so let me just share. Alright, so but before I start again, I just want to give a disclaimer. Uh, whatever I'm sharing today is not financial advice, uh, guys. Um, you know, if it makes sense to you, take action. If it doesn't make sense, please understand your full risk. Right, understand your full risk and only, pre only proceed if it makes sense to you. Alright, so um, I want to share with you all. This is the one investing methodology that Warren Buffett used himself. Right, people like Charlie Munger, this guy at the top. Um, this, guy, this guy, top rank corner, his name is Benjamin Graham. Benjamin Graham is the teacher of Warren Buffett himself, right? And this is the one method that they use to make so much money, right? What's the one method? Very, very simply, uh, these are some of the top investors in the world and they all are basically growth investors, right? They all use this method called growth investing. Can all of you all please say growth investing? Fantastic, fantastic. They all use growth investing. So let me just give you all some examples of some companies, uh, guys. So um, what exactly is growth investing? Warren Buffett said this. So Warren Buffett said growth investing, very simply, is to buy great growing companies, right? Great growing companies at ridiculous discounts, right? Great growing businesses at ridiculous discounts. So let me give you all some examples. Uh, can some of you all tell me, since most of you are traders, investors, what are some companies that Warren Buffett has invested in before? Do you all know? Apple, Apple, right? Apple is his biggest holding. What else? Coca-Cola, I love you. Anything else, guys? Sorry? Microsoft. No, not Microsoft. McDonald's, eat every day, right? Breakfast every day is McDonald's for him. Okay, so let me share with you all. Some companies they invested in. One of his biggest holdings is this company called uh, American Express. You all know American Express? He also owns this company called Visa. Yeah? And about five years ago, he also purchased stakes in this company called MasterCard as well. Right? Guys, can you all raise your hands if you all own either American Express, MasterCard or Visa cards? Raise your hands if you all have. Right? So nearly all of you all have it. So, uh, you know, two years ago, I was with Mary Buffett and asked Mary, Hey, Mary, why is he purchasing all of these companies together? And Mary said this one thing. Her answer was, Rash, do you notice one huge trend happening all around the world? Right? What's that massive, massive trend? People are shifting more and more away from? Away from what, guys? Away from cash, and people are going cashless. True? Right? It's happening right here in Malaysia as well. Right? I didn't know that in Malaysia, literally right now, nearly everywhere I can go and use my GrabPay. Right? I don't even need my card. Right? Everything is through an app. True? Right? And some of you all know, like in places like in China, for example, like, you know, like cash is obsolete. Right? So, you know, I really, really, I, I see that trend actually happening. And that is the main reason why Warren Buffett is investing in these companies. Let me share with you all a stat, uh, guys. Listen to this very carefully, okay? I share with you all, good morning. Right? So, let me share with you a stat, right? Uh, MasterCard just released this statement. Do you all know that 60% of transactions around the world, 60%, uh, is still done through cash? 60% of global transactions around the world are still done through cash. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? Because they don't incline to declare income tax. Very good point. Good point, good point. But beyond that, it also tells you that there's a massive opportunity, correct or not? Right, massive room to grow. Right, and that's the reason why Warren Buffett is investing in all these companies. Let me share with you all. Huh? Very, very recently, just in the last quarter, Warren Buffett himself purchased the largest, the largest Brazilian payment platform uh, in, in Brazil. He purchased the largest 
payment platform in Brazil. This company is called Stone Co. All right. So I see this big trend. He's buying all these companies which deal with payments. All right. Why? Because, in my opinion, at least, there's a major, major trend that is actually happening. True. Right? So how can you actually benefit from this trend? Very, very simple. To actually invest in these companies. All right? So the first lobang I want to give you all is this stock. Okay, I'm going to write this down. Uh, for those who behind cannot see, please come in front. All right? I'm going to write this down. Have a look. Huh? <clears throat> what's it called, guys? Come on, guys. What's it called? Okay, very, very good, right? So what is that exactly? So when you invest in this, let me just, let me just explain to you all. Huh? When you invest in this, you are automatically investing in the companies like MasterCard, you invest in companies like Visa, American Express, PayPal, all these companies which deal with payment gateways, all right? Let me ask you all a question, right, guys. Raise hands if you all believe that e-commerce is really, really growing a lot. Raise hands if you all be believe that. For sure, right? But beyond whether you're using Lazada, whether you're using Redmart, what, whatever you're using, in the end of the day, when you check out, when you check out, what do you use? You use a card. True? Right? So let me ask you a question, guys. Raise your hands if you believe, if you believe. In the next five years or so, right? Raise your hands if you all believe that payment gateways will really grow a lot more. Raise your hands if you all actually believe that. Quite no-brainer, right? Yes or no, guys? Why? Because people will use more and more cards. So look at your own self. Right, ask yourself, are you using more and more cards, for example? Right? And obviously, when you use more of your cards, these companies are making more money. Make sense? Right? So let me share with you all. So I don't want to just talk. Huh? So this is an example. Let me show you all. This is exactly how the chart looks like. This is exactly how it looks like. Right? Over the last five years. Can I ask you a question? What is the one trend that you all see? Huh? What's the one trend that you all see? Well, I like this guy, man, too, man. Drew, I love you, man, seriously. <laughs> right? The one trend you all see is a uptrend. Do you all see? Right? Why is that? Because more and more people are using these companies. Right? And the question to ask yourself is this. Do you all think more people use payment gateways or not? Yes or no? Very, very likely. Lah, huh? Very, very likely. As long as, uh, as long as, do you all think a company like MasterCard or Visa can go bankrupt? Very, very unlikely. Lah, huh? Correct or not? So I can tell you this one thing, huh? this is exactly the trend. Easily, 15-20% growth year on year, you know, guys. Right, year on year. Okay, I'm showing you all this right now, today. Right, but I can tell you one thing, huh? if you all come back in the, in the next two years, three years, four years, whatever it is, this will be somewhere here. Lah. Very, very likely. Right, why? Because these companies are growing. Right, so question is, how do you invest in this? This is a US stock. Right? So for those of you all who don't have experience, maybe just investing in Singapore, what is my, what is my advice? Very, very simple. These are the steps to take. Right? Number one, I use this brokerage. Right? I use this brokerage, interactivebrokers.com. This allows me to invest all over the world. Uh, you can invest you know, all over the world. US stocks, options, Hong Kong, you know, uh, UK, everything around the world. This is what I use personally. Right? And in my opinion, you know, it's regulated. Uh, number one is regulated by Monetary Authority of Singapore. It is, uh, yeah, it's, it's a listed company. This is what I use. All right? And it's the cheapest brokerage as well. All right? So that's number one. Uh, number two is this sign up, download a free account. It right? doesn't cost a single cent. And number three, uh, start practicing. All right? Uh, so, guys, here's the catch, guys. Here's the catch. This is a US stock. All right? US stock. So, how much money do you need to invest in this company? How much money do you need? Any idea? So how much money do you need? Uh, for those of you all who don't know, uh, you need to invest in this actual stock in the US market. You need a grand total sum. Right? You need a grand total sum of $40. Alright? That's all you need. $40. Why? Because you can just go and buy one share. Right? No, seriously, you can just go and buy one share. It's not like in Malaysia, you have to buy a lot, 100 shares or whatever it is. You can just go and start with one share. Do you all understand, guys? That's how simple it is, you know. Everybody should be doing this. Why, why aren't people doing it? I, I don't know. Right? Because they don't have the education, obviously. Right? But if you all open an account, as long as you all are 18 years old and above, you can already start investing. And it only, you can start with 40 bucks. Right? So that's great. Okay. So again, uh, I want to share with you all my top three growth opportunities. So I already shared with you all one. Right? Do you all want some more, guys? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, let me give you all some more. Huh? So again, this is Kantau number one. Number two, what's number two? Right? What's number two? Number two is this. 
healthcare. Right, healthcare. Uh, raise your hands if you believe that in the next three to five years, a lot more people will need healthcare. Raise your hands if you think that people will always need healthcare. Yeah. For sure, right? No brainer, right? Correct, not. And why? Why do I say it's a growth opportunity? Why? Because people are getting older and older, right? Everywhere around the world, where I come from, Singapore, Malaysia, aging population, people are needing more and more healthcare. And here's the one thing: healthcare prices are uh, do they generally increase or decrease? Increase, right? Can you control, can you ask the doctor to charge less? Cannot, right? And let me ask you a question. You all go surgery. Let's say, for example, you go surgery. Can you go and bargain with the doctor? Can or not? Can, ah? Uh? Oh, okay. If you can, uh, maybe you go surgery, you go and, you go and tell him can. Maybe you cut, cut half only, huh? Cut half. Then the remaining, hey, after you pay me money, I stitch back for you. Uh, better not bargain, huh? Right? So better not bargain. So again, you know, healthcare is something that is really, really for sure growing, right? Why? Because people need more of it. And raise hands if you all actually agree with me uh, that a lot more people are spending a lot more money on like supplementation, looking, you know, living longer and all that. Raise hands if you actually agree. <coughs> Makes sense, right? It's happening. It's happening, right? So healthcare is one which you must, must, and in, in my opinion, it is completely recession-proof as well. True? Right? Whether there's recession or not, people will still need healthcare, for sure. Right? So what can you invest in? Let me share with you all. Huh? This is the second one which I want to recommend to you all. Uh, this actual stock, again, huh? guys, uh, I'm not giving you all stock recommendations. I'm just telling you all what I invest in. Okay? So this is companies that are, is in my personal portfolio. If you all think it makes sense, then go ahead. Okay? So this is the, this is the company which I, I, I have in my portfolio. It's actually, the ticker symbol for it is XLV. Okay? XLV. Alright? So again, what does XLV contain? Just similar to IP, IP contains all... But this is an index, isn't it? Right? No, no, it's not an index, it's an ETF, right? It's an ETF, oh, okay. Right. Okay, so let me explain, uh, guys. So like IP, for example, has all the companies with, which deal with payment gateways. XLV has all the companies which deal with healthcare, okay? So they contain not just pharma stocks, for example. They don't just have pharmaceuticals. They have pharmaceuticals. They have, uh, they have uh, hospital stocks. They have companies you deal with. Uh, if you all see this one company in here, there's one company in here which is called, uh, da, 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 uh, which is called Gillet Science. Gillet Science is a pharmaceutical company. There's another company in here which deals with medical robotic surgery. Do you all know nowadays? You know medical. You know they all do surgery by robots. Do you all know that? Right. This company is called Intuitive Surgical. It's also in here as well. Right. So it's all these companies which deal with healthcare. Right. So again, uh, let me just show you all. This is exactly how the stock price looks like over the last five years. It looks like this. Right, currently right now it's about 88 USD. What is the one trend you all see again, guys? What's the one trend? Uptrend. Right, very, very simple. And again, uh, guys, like in my opinion, I don't know about you all, uh, right? But for me, as an investor-wise, I'm looking more of long-term. I'm looking more of long term. So for me, let's say for example, if I buy this, uh, if I buy this today, uh, tomorrow, uh, Monday for example, right, I buy this on Monday, and let's say the market drops, right, if this drops 10%, do you all think my heart rate is affected? Uh? Yes or no? What do you all think? For, for, me, for me personally, uh, not at all, you know. Why? Because, well, uh, I know for sure this will increase in the future, right? So if it comes down, there's an opportunity for me to go and buy a little bit more. Do you all see? Right? Like seriously, like some stocks, uh, you all buy some stocks, well, now suddenly down 20%, 30%, you all panic. Oh. Correct not? Right? With some stocks, because you don't know what the hell is happening. But with this, how can a whole basket of companies, companies like, you all see, uh, again, companies like Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, Merck, you know, United Health Group, can, how can all of them collapse at the same time? It's impossible. True not? Right? It's impossible that all of them collapse at the same time. So again, this is one of uh, no-brainer ways uh, to make money. Right, seriously. And again, the growth wise uh, is sick, you know, guys. The growth is sick. Over the last seven years are uh, consecutively, on average, like at least 15% per year. Right? Doing what? You buy and literally do nothing. Right? It's much, 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 much more than whatever your EPF, everything else is giving you. Right? And what do you do? You buy one time and close your eyes. That's it. Right? Whenever the market drops, it's just a super good opportunity to go and load on some more. Right, as long as you believe that healthcare will be around, which I think so, lah. Huh? Okay. Third one, third one. You all ready for third one? Yes or no, guys? Yes. Okay, let's give you third one. So this one, a little bit controversial, lah. But uh, this is what I see as a huge opportunity. You all can agree with me, you all can disagree with me. But where do I see huge, massive growth potential? 
I personally see it in cybersecurity. I personally see it in cybersecurity, right? So last year, there was this one major company, one huge company which went through a big scandal. What company was that? One major tech company went through a big scandal last year. What company? Facebook. You all know Facebook, right? So it went through the entire Cambridge Analytica scandal. But all of it was because of what? All of it was basically because of data breach, last cyber and all that. True? True. Right? If you all go and look, recently, just last year, Singapore, I'm from Singapore, right? Our entire national healthcare system got breached. Somebody actually hacked into our healthcare system to go and find out medical records of over a million people, you know. And they went to go and release it. Right? So today, uh, nowadays, everything, if you all notice, like, if you all are working adults, you all notice that everything nowadays is no more paper already. Everything is on the cloud. Everything is on the computer. True? Right? And it's also a reason why companies need to invest so much more money in cybersecurity. True, not guys? Right? For sure, no. Like companies, even Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg himself said himself, he said, eh, uh, he said himself, we are not spending enough money on cybersecurity. Right? And we need to invest so much more money, millions and billions of dollars. So is there an opportunity? I definitely think so. Right? Guys, raise your hands if you all think that cyber security uh, will really grow a lot more in the next three to five years. Raise your hands if you all actually believe that. Right? Uh, again, I want everybody's participation, uh, guys. I want to see whether you all agree or not. Raise your hands if you all really think that cyber security will grow a lot more in the next three to five years. Right? Okay, cool. If you all really, really believe so, this is another opportunity. Let me share with you all. Huh? What can you actually look to invest in? You can actually look to invest in this company called HACK. Hack. Right? So very easy to remember, uh, don't get hacked. Right? H-A-C-K, don't get hacked. So what does hack contain? Right? So if you all look, some of these companies you all might be familiar with. Raise your hands if you all know Cisco. Cisco, raise your hands if you all know Cisco. Come on guys. Okay, so companies like Cisco for example, CyberArk, Fortinet, Juniper, Splunk. These are some of the top cyber security companies in the world. Alright, so here's the thing uh, guys, it's very, very simple. If you don't know, if you're not very familiar with cyber security, for example, you don't know the individual companies, don't need to worry lah. Alright, this one, with this, you buy an entire, you buy an entire portfolio. Can all of you all please say portfolio? Portfolio. You buy an entire portfolio of these companies, right? And through that, you know, if you really truly believe that cyber security will grow, which I think in my, in my own mind, I think is a no-brainer lah. Right? Because companies, seriously, in my opinion, if there's going to be a World War III, it won't be guns, you know, it'll be computers. Seriously, that's what I, that's what I think, like, that's what I believe, right? You might have different views, but that's what I think, right? But again, uh, I can talk so much, but does, does the stock price agree or not? Let me just show you all, right? This is how it looks like over the last year, right? So exactly, you all look at that. Again, what's the one trend you all see? Uptrend, right? And again, uh, this was over the last one year only, you know, guys. Right, over the last one year, if you all are traders, you all are investors, you all know that the market is super, super choppy. Right, last year, the Malaysian market dropped like crazy. The US market also dropped. But despite everything dropping, cybersecurity performed one of the best. Right, why? Because the last year, over the last two years is when all these companies are, are literally pumping in billions of dollars into this one industry. Why? Because it's a must, it's a need. Do you all understand that? Right, so many companies, you know, they all dropped last year. Right? But this one industry is performing really, really, really superbly well. And I truly believe in the next two years, three years, five years, for example, you will see a lot of growth as well. Right? So HACK is another one. So today I share with you all three growth opportunities, three growth sectors. What's the first one, guys? What's the first one? All right? The first one was your payment gateways. Right? That's your first one, which I really truly feel that there's good opportunity. Number two. Number two was your healthcare. And number three was your Cyber security. So these are the three ones which I feel have very, very good growth opportunities which you all can actually look at. I gave you all the exact stocks as well, right? I told you exactly how you can actually start investing as well. So, um, just a show of hands, guys. I just want to get a poll, okay? Uh, out of the three, if you can only choose one, okay? Out of the three, uh, if you only can choose one, what will it be, right? So when I ask you all, then just raise your hands, okay? Out of the three, just think for a while. Think for five seconds, okay? Out of the three, if you can only choose one, what will it be, all right? So if it's... Uh, if it's payment gateways, raise your hands. Wow, interesting. If it's healthcare, raise your hands. Okay, very good. And if it's cybersecurity, raise your hands. Okay, one person. Okay, so interesting. So exactly, chun chun, huh? one, two, three. Okay, but here's the beautiful thing. 
even if you want to go and invest in all three together, it's no problem at all. Why? Because you need very, very small capital, right? If you want to invest slowly, three is okay, right? So again, like I mentioned, a uh, hack is about 40 bucks, right? Hack is about 40 bucks. IP also is about $40. Uh, healthcare is about $90 right now, right? So that's it. You can buy just one share each, all right? So as a bonus, what I want to share with you all is this. So this is, this is literally it, lah, right? You, you buy, uh, you can literally do nothing and make money, right? After you buy, what do you do? Uh, nothing, la. really, really, literally nothing, right? So if you are a passive investor, you're not, you're not looking at the screen every day to trade here and there, here and there, then this is very, seriously, I literally buy, do nothing and make money, right? If the stock price drops and the market correction, I just use that to go and buy more, right? Why? Because I know, I know for sure, even if market correction, I still use my Visa card, right? I know for sure, even though there's a market crash, Donald Trump die, or whatever it is, right? People still fall sick, correct or not? Right, for sure, that's the reason why it's a no-brainer to me, right? Literally, it's your strategy to buy, do nothing and make money, right? So, this is another thing which I want to share. What are my top recession-proof industries, right? So, again, you know, if you all, if you all come here today, uh, you all listen to other speakers and everything, I bet one thing, most of the speakers will actually share this one view, right? And the one view is this, we are possibly, right, very, very, very likely going to be experiencing a major market correction happening very soon. Right? It's going to happen very, very soon. And let me give you all a tip. Huh? Uh, next year, there's a big event that's happening. Do you all know what it is? Next year, 2020. Sorry? Yes, next year, there's the election. Right? Next year, there's a US presidential election, 2020. Uh, let me share with you all a small thing. Huh? This one, guys, I eat this for breakfast. So, uh, trust me when I say this. Every single time, right? every single time, whenever it's the year before elections, right? the year before elections, there will be a massive market rally. Uh, rally means the bulls will win, right? So again, next year is the uh, next year is the recession. <laughs> next year is the election. Okay, next year is the election. So there will be a massive market rally. That's exactly what's happening right now. If you look at the markets, the market is hit the all-time high again just this week. All right. So you'll see a massive market rally. always happens. But the election year, right, 2020 is when you will see massive changes. Right, you will see monumental changes and shifts in the global economy, right? So again, uh, how do you get prepared? You want to be investing, really, really. You want to really see that your portfolio is in recession-proof companies, right? Companies that, hey, look, whatever happens, these companies will still carry on. People will still use them. People will still, you know, um, be utilizing these companies, right? So let me share with you all uh, my top five, right, recession-proof industries. My top five is this. Uh, number one is utilities, right? Because at the end of the day, we will always need to use our power, we always need to use our electricity, all of it is, you know, we cannot go without it, right? How <laughs> can you go and <laughs> off your light? Like, you need your lights, right? Correct or not? Right, so utility companies. The next one is education, right? Education. This one I really, really like a lot, right? Why? Because whatever it is, lah, guys, you know, people, especially Asians, for example, they will always, always invest in education. True or not? Right, universities, for example. And raise your hands if you all agree with me that all these private education companies are well, now they make a lot of money on. Raise your hands. These private education companies, wow, it's crazy, it's, it's nuts. Right, they make a lot of money, really, right? Uh, Malaysians, they, some of these guys, they throw their life savings, right, into education to get a degree that is usually useless. <laughs> it, it's true, right? But anyways, education, for example, let me share with you all. This week, I just bought a... I just, just on last... Today is Friday, right? Uh, on Monday, I just bought an education company. Can I share with you all? Yeah. Right, so I just share with you all what company I bought. You all can do your own research. Lah, huh? But I bought, this, um, I bought this company which is listed in Hong Kong. Right? It's actually called Maple Leaf Education. Right? So you all can write it down if you all want to. I just bought this company. Why? Because uh, it is trading at super cheap prices, trading at crazy cheap prices. And what do they do? Uh, they are an international school, right? So they, are, they have many, many international schools in China, right? And uh, basically what they do is they charge for, uh, they actually help, they actu their programs are from kindergarten all the way to high school, right? And eventually these kids will be able to study uh, Western education and study overseas. Right? And wow, well, I'm telling you all, I look at the net profit margins, I nearly want to... <laughs> like, you know, do you all know their net profit margins uh, for this company? Net profit margins is 70%, you know. It's, wow, well, if you all if you all know some basic investing, is 
It's, it's crazy, right? How much they charge. But these people, they'll pay any amount of money, right? These Chinese people from, you know, from China and everything to get their children to get Western education, they'll pay crazy amounts of money, right? Because they want their children to get Western education to go overseas and study and all of that, right? So uh, right now, trading at a very, 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 very good, uh, in my opinion, uh, good price. So education, for example. The next one is funeral services. Wow, this one I love. So I love. Why do I love? Because why? Uh, people always die, right? Recession, maybe more people die. Correct, not? Right. Son, you cannot prevent. Can escape. Cannot escape. <laughs> can es you got, you can exi you, if you can escape, let me know. La. <laughs> right? But I, I, in my opinion, I cannot escape. La, huh? What to do? Correct, not? But interestingly, these companies also listed companies, you know. Right? Boring company. Very boring. Same thing they do. But they make so much money. Right? These fellas are no joke. They wait outside the hospital, one, no? Right, outside hospital, they wait and then they sell package, people just pay, they handle, and this company is crazy. And their profits increase year on year on year. Right? Recession proof. Recent, if you all agree that funeral recession proof? <laughs> for sure, right? <laughs> so this is number three, right? Number four, like I mentioned, healthcare, for sure. People always fall sick, uh, which is in line with funeral. After healthcare, then funeral, correct, not? Uh, so number four, number five. Uh, and finally, the last one which I really like is your daily household necessities, right? Your soap, your detergent, your shampoo, these kind of things, you know, your shaving blade, for example. So unlike it or not, you must buy. Right? These companies, they cannot go bust one. Why? Because you buy them every single time. Right? Companies like Unilever, for example. You all know Unilever? Right? Fantastic company. They own all the major household brands. Unilever, companies like PNG, for example, Procter & Gamble. These are companies which are household necessities. And these companies are the ones which during recession, they don't, they don't get shaken. Right? And even if they do, make sure you all go and buy. Right? Make sure. Because why? These are the ones which are the fastest to recover. Right? Fastest to recover. If right now your portfolio is mainly based in, let's say for example, huh, if your portfolio is mainly based in like crypto, for example, or tech or AI, or these ones will be affected very, very badly. Seriously, no joke. You will see 50%, 50%, 60% drop. Right? If you don't like that kind of you know, volatility, then this is really what you want to actually be focusing on. Okay? Got it? Right? So guys, raise your hands if you all have really got some really good tips today. Right? Okay, fantastic, right? So I've almost come to the end of my talk already. Um, <clears throat> this is another, this is just a this, uh, this is just a little bit of what I'm going to be sharing. And again, if you all, guys, I promise you all one thing. Uh, if you all just apply and just buy what I teach you all today, this, these three companies alone can make you a lot of money, you know. So you all can buy me lunch later, okay? Uh, see, I'm not even joking, right? This is why, I'm, uh, why I have my portfolio. And over the last few years, made me a lot of money. And think about it, lah. Huh? Ask yourself this question. In the next five years, do you all think this will grow? And if it grows, the stock price will grow as well. Okay? That's why investing is really pretty simple. But anyways, my main talk, my main topic is really about this. Right? What I really educate people on is how you can actually make a monthly uh, passive income safely using this formula called my BOSS formula. Right? So again, this first strategy I taught you all is to buy, do nothing, and just make money. Right? But how many of you all would also like if you all, if you all can actually make a monthly income as well? Raise your hands. Right? So if you all would like to have, you all would actually like to make a monthly income as well, this is my main thing, right? But unfortunately, at Traders Fair, they only give me half an hour. After that, I got a child already, right? So uh, no choice. So anyways, this is my main talk, which I actually do. I'll actually be sharing this full thing, exactly how you can actually do it uh, in a session, which I'm doing on the 5th of May. 5th of May, right, Winnie? 5th of May, right? 5th of May, which is happening next week. Right? So if you all want in, this is going to be a full house, but I can invite some of you all to come in. So if you all really, really want, you all can put in your details on this link, right? bit.ly slash rash super talk. Right? So this is happening on the 5th of May, which is next Sunday. Is it? I think so. Huh? Next Sunday or something like that. Right? And I'm speaking at about 2 p.m. So I'll send you all the details, and then you all can actually come along as well. Right? I have limited seats available. I have about 20 slots available. So if you all want, go, go, go on to this link, put in your name, email address, and I'll send you all the details. Can? Can, uh, and uh, what else do I have to share? Right, and one more last thing. Uh, please stay connected, right? Stay connected. Um, this is my Facebook, this is my Instagram. If you all like my page, if you all like my page and send me a message, I will send you all the entire slides, right? So if you all want the entire slides and everything, uh, add me as a friend, like my page on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram. Take out your phone, take out your phones, do it right now. Take out your phone. Take out, take out, take out. Go on Facebook, Instagram, like my page, and stuff like that. And if you all do, I'll send you all my entire slides as well. Okay, Ken? Ken, huh? Alright, so I've come to the end already. Can you all do me one small favor? Uh, turn to the partner next to you, okay? Turn to the person next to you and discuss with them what's the one best learning point that you all got from my talk. Can you all discuss? 
turn, find somebody and discuss. Let's go. Come, discuss, come, sit down, sit down, come, come. Says, what's the biggest learning point you all got? Yes. Yes, yes. Akan datang. Akan datang. If you have, if, uh, I'll answer in a bit. Hold on, huh? let me just take. So discuss your partners again, guys. Okay, and pause, and pause, and pause. So the gentleman asked a very good question, right? His question was, repeat your question again. Uh, we know that the wait, wait, hold on, I pass you, I pass you on mic, huh? Yeah, good morning. Uh, my name is Lee. Uh, knowing that there's a recession coming, coming around, around the corner, okay, should we enter the market now or should we wait after the recession? Okay, good question, right? So should, should you enter now or should you wait? So good question, I love the question. So my answer is this, my answer personally for myself, right, right now it's very, very, very important to have cash on standby. So for me right now, my cash to portfolio ratio is 50-50, right? So I've been, selling some, I've been selling some of my shares, why? Because I want to maintain a ratio, I want to make sure I have cash on hand. Right, currently right now, Warren Buffett, he's having, he has nearly about $120 billion cash on hand. Just cash. Right, why? And he hasn't made a very big purchase in a long time. Right, why? Because he cannot find anything that is damn good, uh, super good deals. Right, so my answer is have cash on standby. But then again, it doesn't mean you sell everything, don't do anything. Why? Because here's my theory. La. My theory is this. If a tsunami come, uh, if a tsunami come then you learn how to swim. What happened to you? <coughs> then you confirm die lah, correct or not? Right? You cannot wait for the tsunami to come, then you learn how to swim. What? Right? So you must first learn how to swim and navigate the, the waters first. Right? So right now, if you haven't started, get started with a small amount. And this is the best time to start learning properly, learning how to navigate. Why? Because when the opportunity really comes, right? if you're not invested, you don't know what to do. One. Confirm. People tell you, be like, what to buy? You don't have any idea. So that's, what, that's, that's my suggestion. Number two, uh, get connected with a group as well, right? With a mastermind group of other investors, traders. There's so many people in here. Make friends so you all can actually share resources. And that's exactly what we do in Buffett Online School as well. All right, so great question. Anybody else have any questions before we make a move? Yes, question. Hold on, uh, hold on. Uh, so everybody can hear. Yes, sorry. So thank you very much for asking the question. Come. Uh, let's say if you pick a stock, yes. how, ma how many years will you give it uh, in terms of uh, uh, trial that, that if it doesn't live up to expectation? Okay, okay. So after you buy a stock, how many years will you give it a chance? Lah, huh? Correct or not? Okay, good question. I love it. Okay, I love it. Okay, so great question, guys. Fantastic. Huh? How long will you actually give it a trial for? So it really, really depends uh, what is the reason you buy the stock. Right? So different stocks we buy for different reasons. Okay? For example, uh, for example uh, some stocks you might buy for dividends. Raise your hands if you all buy some stocks for dividends. Okay, so some of you all buy some stocks for dividends. Right? If you all buy the stocks for dividends, for example, then ideally you never want to sell it. Uh, right? Why? Because it keeps paying you dividends. Right? So Warren Buffett bought this company called Coca-Cola a right? long time ago. He will never ever sell it. Why? Even though the company is not really growing anymore, he will never sell it. Why? Because he keeps paying him dividend year after year. And the dividends already pay off for everything already. Correct or not? Already pay off. It's already free. So every year, it just give him $500 million, you know. Every year, $500 million collect in dividends. So he will never sell. Right? So this is, this is one answer. The second answer is sometimes you buy a stock because of its growth. Right? You buy because of its growth. Right now, it's trading at a low, uh, trading very, very cheap. And you know that it's growing, for example. So after it's actually grown quite a bit already or become quite big already, that's when you might decide you want to actually sell it. Right? Or for me, some, some companies, let me share with you all. Uh, example for me is, for me, my favourite kind of investments are companies which are large companies, but 
also which I feel have a lot more room to grow. Let me share with you all. Huh? So my favorite, my biggest holdings are companies which are big companies, but I feel have a lot more room to grow. Let me give you all two examples. Huh? One example is like McDonald's. McDonald's is a big company, but do I feel it can grow a lot more? In my opinion, eh, not really. Right? Because McDonald's is in every country, every city in the world. Make sense? Right? So do I think it can double in size? Probably not. Right? So I do not invest in McDonald's. But compared to a company like Facebook, for example, Facebook is a massive company, one of the biggest companies in the world. Right? But do I feel it can grow a lot more? I tell you, for sure. Right? How do I know? I advertise on Facebook. Huh? My costs literally double every year. My costs, huh? my personal costs on Facebook, every year it literally doubles. Right? Ask the guys who actually organize this talk. Right? How much they actually spend. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Right? No joke. And, uh, and the prices just go in one direction. And it's not Facebook increasing the prices. You know. Who's increasing the prices? The advertisers. Because they, are pay, they pay more money. You pay more money, okay lah. Take more money. You see what I'm saying? So for these companies, I will hold for some time. Right? Let's say, for example, if a company is really not good already. One of the biggest mistakes people make is this. Let me just share with you all. Lah. One of the biggest traders' mistakes is this. People sell their winners and keep their losers. This is one of the biggest trading mistakes ever. Selling your winners and keeping your losers. You keep your losers, why? Because you pray. One day, hopefully, it come up again. And winners, oh, I'll go up 30%. Sell, ah, sell, ah, take profit first. And their bugger keep going up. Correct, no? How many of y'all can relate? Raise hands if y'all can relate. 100%. If y'all are traders, y'all can 100% relate with me. Right? So my advice very simply is the other way around. Uh, if you really have losers, companies really cannot make it one. Right? Like seriously, I don't know why some people, some, one fella came to me the other day and tell me he's holding on to Astro. I was like, for what you hold this stock? Like seriously, no future. Yeah, hopefully there's nobody from Astro here. Huh? You're not from Astro, right? Okay. <laughs> right? For what you keep? Right? Like really, the fundamental change really is really them to you. Then just throw lah. Right? So that's my answer to your question. Okay? Uh, yes, one more question. Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. That's not true. Go and check again. Go and check again. The Facebook fee is only 18 right now. 18 only. It's not 100. It's 18 only. 18 only. So that's, that's wrong, right? So good question. Any other questions before I wrap up? All good? Right? Okay, so thank you very much. Y'all been fantastic. Give us a round of applause. All right, thank you very much. I am done. So get connected with me and I'll send you all the slides as well. Okay, thank you.